I welcome you to Portrait. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. My friends, I want to share with you resurrection. Resurrection. But before we do that, let's take this confession together. Today I am lifted. I will not fail. Jesus never fails. My eyes are on him from whom all blessings flow. I conquer all fears in him. I am blessed beyond mass destruction. I am moving with the power of an eagle. I will not stumble. My goals are assured in him. All to his praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Today is second Sunday in the month of October. Sunday, October 10, 2021. Resurrection. Resurrection is a central doctrine of Christianity. It's based on the belief that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead on the third day after his crucifixion and that through his conquering of death, all believers were, will subsequently share in his victory over sin, death, and the devil. In 1 Corinthians 15, 16 to 19, 1 Corinthians 15, 16 to 19, For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are falling asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. My friends, you will agree with me that no man that will not die, whether believer or unbeliever, there are two types of resurrection, the resurrection of life and the resurrection of damnation. Every man will die as we said before and you need to know that once a man die, whether a believer or an unbeliever, before he will be transported to wherever he or she is going, whether eternal life or eternal damnation, that man will be given a new body. With the, body, with the Bible say it's an incorruptible body, immortal body that will be given to him. I want to let you know that death is the greatest healer. Death is the greatest healer. My friends, where are you going? Is it eternal life? You want to spend eternal life with Christ or eternal damnation? What is your vision? What are you pursuing? I want you to know this morning that Jesus did not come so that you will have wet all around you. The major reason why Jesus died for us on the cross of Calvary is for us to make it to heaven. Anything outside that is an addition. That is why in Matthew 6, 33, he said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and any other thing will be added unto you. I want to assure you that there is no fear in death. If you that is watching me, you are afraid, meaning you have not been able to conquer sin, you have not been able to live over sin because of you are not imbibing the resurrection of Christ Jesus. Because that is what he has done. He died on the third day. He rose. And he conquered sin. So you don't need to be afraid. Because where we are going is better than where we are now. You cannot compare it. It's incomparable. My friends, let us do what is right. 
And when, once we do what is right, we'll be joyful even on the last day that we draw the, the last breath. We'll be happy with ourselves. I pray you will not be, you will not waste the grace that God has given you to make it to heaven. And I pray that you will not go and dip your hand to where you are not supposed to, to, to your hand to be. And I pray for you that the grace of God will be upon you and the Holy Spirit of God will be upon you to think of heaven, not on this temporal earth, to think of heaven where you will have a long lasting life that is forever, where there is no, no, no light taking, where there is no drugs that, that will be administered for sickness because death is the greatest healer. I pray for you, you will receive grace. You will receive the Holy Spirit of God. Take it now in Jesus' name.